LEGO 31209 The Amazing Spider-Man is a serious work of art, no pun intended. Taking everything LEGO has done with flat art and then turning them more 3D as they did with The Great Wave, The Amazing Spider-Man takes all that to a whole new level. Beginning with the green background, the builder uses different sides and shades of green circular tiles to contrast one another to create a Ben Day printing process. This is a homage to the effect that applications of colors don't quite align correctly in print, causing colors to bleed into the background. I think LEGO has done this appropriately using large green plates as the foundation to keep the color scheme behind Spidey consistent. The spiderweb technique was a very unique part of the build as the builder utilizes flexible white rods and flexible linked rods to intertwine with each other, creating the illusion of a spiderweb throughout the art set and under Spider-Man. It was a cool experience to utilize these pieces in a new way, and I think that alone makes the art set stand out. The frame of the set is a sturdy and thick border made up of white and black plates and tiles. The black border on the inside of the white frame is appropriate, given the illusion of a comic book cover. With the printed Amazing Spider-Man logo in the bottom left-hand corner, it pops with a yellow background, contrasting from the green foundation, and is greeted by a multitude of spider pieces throughout the frame, giving an even more three-dimensional and welcoming illusion. On the back of the frame comes with two black hanger pieces so you can prop Spidey on the wall, as it would look great in any room you choose to place him. Where the fun really begins is when you start to put together Spider-Man himself. But there are some pros and cons to Spider-Man here. Starting with the pros, Spider-Man fills up the art just right, making him easily the main focus. Looking at the colors throughout his suit, you can tell where the shade is appropriate, separating the legs from the torso, and the arms and shoulders protruding higher up from his back. The head build pops forward and has neat Spider-Man suit printed tiles on his head and over his mouth. The usage of the curved white quarter pieces are of excellent use to get the eyes right, while being complemented with the black rounded curved pieces to give Spidey more expression. As you turn the head left and right, depending on what angle, you can see Spider-Man slightly changing his expression a bit, which is a bit neat. His hands and fingers protrude out from the art and over the frame, allowing the fingers to be manipulated in whatever way you choose to have Spider-Man, which is really cool. That feature alone really brings Spider-Man to life. However, there are a few cons that I noticed that some may agree or disagree with. Spider-Man has a ton of studs showing, and what particularly bothers me about it, it's not so much that there's a ton of studs, but the fact that only certain parts of Spider-Man has edges that are curved with the curved pieces, and the rest of him are kind of left janky. It doesn't look bad at all from far away, but up close, you might find it a bit bothersome. I'm also not a fan of how one of Spider-Man's legs doesn't connect to the spider torso on the back of his suit. Last but not least, Spider-Man's head is practically flat besides the eyes, and depending on which way you're walking from on either side, the viewer will notice connection pieces holding the head far out, making this a set you really only want to pay attention to as it is in front of you. I do wish the head was rounded underneath a bit more to give it a slightly more 3D shape, but maybe it's just more complicated to do than I think it is. Overall, the cons do not hinder the Amazing Spider-Man art set. LEGO has come a long way to make these themes much more immersive with their 3D build techniques. Spider-Man looks great as a whole if you take out the very minor cons I've pointed out and add the elements of spider webs, spiders, the Ben Day printing color effect, and the overlapping of fingers on the frame just really make this set neat. You can pick up the 2099 piece Lego The Amazing Spider-Man art set for $199 US dollars, $259.99 Canadian dollars, or $199 euros. Let me know if you plan on having Spider-Man crawling down your walls down below in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until then, happy building.